Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Fall at New Vegas. Still getting tons and tons of questions asking, GV, when are you getting back to Oblivion? When are you getting back to Skyrim? How about ESO? How about Morwen? Listen! There's a sub Saturdays I uploaded recently called Where is underscore 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 playthrough? It addresses everything. That sub Saturdays got like 5,000 views. Go watch that! It's all answered! The point is, though, uh, we're going to be finishing New Vegas, of course, because we're getting very close to the end. So, New Vegas is getting all the spotlight. But welcome back. We're coming to the end, folks. We are coming to the end. I was, uh... We're loading this save after doing a bunch of exploration, which I might or might not do again on Twitch. So, again, go follow the Twitch. The link is in the description below, twitch.tv slash Uh Basically, because a lot of these, since we've gotten all the good stuff, all the unique weapons and everything, a lot of the stuff is uh, pretty boring. Like a lot of these cliffside prospector camps, lucky gym mine, etc. It's a lot of mines, basically, that don't really have anything inside of them. Because, again, we've gotten all the unique weapons, armor, you know, all the all the pretty unique stuff. Although we have seen a lot of unique beasts, like the legendary Cazador and things like that. Point is, uh, I do want to get all these rest of these, uh, rest of these, which I don't think we'll be able to get everything. Because, like, this, for instance, we'd have to choose a different ending of the Lonesome Road DLC to get. But I might make an effort to get all the other things done like this little grouping of stuff down here so point is follow the twitch because if i do we'll do it over there and we'll uh, live stream cleaning up these places so yeah anyways moving right along uh in terms of quests we should have every single side quest in the game that we could do done the only thing i'm wondering about is eye for an eye and that's talking to First Sergeant Astor, or whoever the heck. And I know we did this. Hi. Oh, yeah, because you guys don't Come like on. me now. Come on, Hollow Rifle. Great job, Hollow Rifle. Uh, if you remember... What the heck? If you remember, we... Uh, okay. Oh, hi, guys. Uh, where is my Rocket's Red Glare? There it is. Okay, I'm just gonna load you guys up with this, if you don't mind. Okay, so yeah, maybe you Come shouldn't on. have messed with me, huh? <laughs> You're starting to realize that now, aren't you? Oh, keep shooting your guns. That's fine. I'll just blow up your feet. Seem to be falling into the ground there, buddy. Adios, and then who... Oh my god, is that actually him? Wow, there... I can't believe we found this guy right off the bat. So yeah, um... If you remember right, we did this a while ago, and this guy has a quest to, like... Get NCR dog tags or something, but apparently he has a different quest as well So maybe I left it off until I did all the Legion stuff because apparently if you do his thing He wants you to wipe out Cottonwood Cove, which we can do now uh, since we've you know done everything else So I'm I, that's really lucky because if you remember we also had a really hard time finding this guy But I'm gonna talk to him and see if maybe anything changed because the only quest that's in my journal that like I can complete but I seem to have not is that one eye for an eye gotten from this guy so let's make a brand new save here and let's see if he's got anything new to say hello you back what can i do for you i don't really know but oh look at this now okay so let's just run through everything just to see if the air is filled with radiation why are you still here i was stationed at camp searchlight before the incident i've since taken it upon myself to keep travelers away from the area. Fair enough. Uh, okay, let's run through what happened. Can I ask you something else? How did you survive? How did the Legion get into the camp? Can I ask you something else? So this is interesting right here, but let's see. Where should I go instead? Head north toward Novak. Look for a big dinosaur. Can't miss it. Yeah, been there, done that. Why Novak? Let's see. I don't know who Private Edwards is. is. that the... Oh, that's the ghoul, isn't it? Also, again, I might have to change my batteries, giving you guys a heads up just in case when I leave you for a second, you don't have uh, abandonment, you know, issues. Uh, yeah, that might happen because I've been using my controller quite a bit and I can already feel the radiation or the vibration is weak. Can I ask you about Private Edwards? Who's Private Edwards? I don't know. Yeah, the ghoul. I vaguely remember that. He's a ghoul in Camp Searchlight. Well, if he's a ghoul, he should be put down. I can't let a rabid dog suffer. Can I ask you something else? Sure. Okay. So I guess we did all this. I found a Legion camp at Cottonwood Cove. 
The Rangers at Echo have been keeping an eye on that place. It's relatively new, but those bastards have already dug in. They appear to be running a slave trading operation, and it also seems to be one of the primary crossing points for Legion raiding parties. Is there anything you need done? If you could scout out the camp, bring back any intel on troop movement or plans for future raids. The Rangers could put that information to good use. Also, if you're any good at covert ops, I would love to get a bug planted on their radio. So far, we've been unable to crack their encryption. Ah uh ha -huh, ha, and this is why you always check. It, how did we miss this? What the heck? I think I can handle that for you. Good to hear. This is the bug you'll need for the radio. Report back if you pick up any intel, or manage to sneak the bug into their radio. Gotcha. Is that a quest? Oh, look at that. Goodbye. Sir. Eye for an eye. Wow. Okay, so that's the last thing. Find general intel on Legion troop movement. Find intel on Legion raids. Plant the NCR. But so I must have just when we yeah when we did this way back when I must have just held off because I knew I wanted to do Legion stuff. That's probably what I did. And now that we are done with the Legion stuff, uh, including unmarked quests, as far as I can tell, again r researching for this series has been an absolute nightmare to try to figure out what's correct and what's not just because there's an overload of misinformation on the internet just a ton of a ton of information is just flat out wrong like on the wikis actually so yeah it's been somewhat of a challenge anyways uh that's good though i didn't think we'd be able to get that and there it is eye for an eye plant the ncr bug find intel on the legion raids find general intel on legion troop movement so need to go to cottonwood cove and it looks like that's where everything's done. We're a soft-hearted devil. It looks like they're going to attack on site. I'm fine with that. Just got to remember to loot the uniquely named guys. Although, again, it's, there shouldn't be anything that we're going to get that we haven't already got outside of the GRA, the uh, the uh, the uh, the Gunrunner's Arsenal unique weapons. Because that's pretty much it. Uh, the Gunrunner's Arsenal unique weapons we missed. Which, again, you know what? Maybe they just restocked. Did they just restock? Because I swear, I thought I bought all the stuff, except for, like, the ones that show up if you kill the uh, the Silver Rush people, the Van Graffs. I thought I got everything, so maybe I wonder if they just restock the same weapons, because it's DLC. If anybody knows, feel free to leave a comment. I am unsure. But nevertheless, outside of that, and outside of the, oh, yeah, that's right, I wanted to do the Old Lady Gibson thing, because apparently if you loot the, if you pickpocket the ammo from Old Lady Gibson, you can pickpocket the Big Boomer? We'll test that out as well. And then Figaro, I just don't even know if we'll be able to get it. That, that would be the last, the last weapon. Okay, so they're all just angry. Uh, I don't even know how to do this quest. I guess I'll remain in stealth for now. There's the big boy. What's his face? What's your name? Aurelius of Phoenix. Trying a little bit too hard. Also, Phoenix sucks. Phoenix, Arizona. Just kidding. I don't really have any. I've been there like once. Can't really talk. I've only been there once. And it was fine. It was hot. Arizona's known for being hot. Okay. Let's head into Cottonwood Cove HQ. I've just heard, I guess I've heard negative things about Phoenix more so than positive, but that seems like pretty much everywhere. Or a lot of places in the U.S., especially Florida. Like, I've talked a lot of crap about Florida just myself. Uh, what are we doing here exactly? I do not know. It looks like this is pointing to the filing cabinet, but in all... Oh, it is. Okay, I was going to say it's probably a level above or below, but there's the Legion raid plans. That was easy. I lost karma for that. Are you kidding me? Fight intel on Legion. Okay. Die NCR. Well, there... Yeah, okay. That's one way to put it. I, I, w I wonder if the uh, Caesar's Legion... Oh, okay. Well, that's just not nice. Is YouTube so advanced now that they're able to, like scan that and and like instantly demonetize it again I, I you know I, as much as i talk about demonetization i've actually had it really 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 nice i've i've been very lucky and unscathed uh you know compared to the horror stories i've seen on the internet so i don't really have a place to complain about it it's just you know I, i'm not a fan of youtube in general and what their policies are uh you know it's because it's just it just feels like overtly slowly but surely they're reducing the amount of creativity we can express in our videos you know what i mean which just doesn't feel too great there's that thing uh where is this i think we got to go one level above up until the up up to that office don't we that's the feeling that i get anyways and i'm trying to make it so that i don't anger anybody but it's probably gonna be pretty hard to do that yeah, here we have the door to office of Aurelius of Phoenix, who's right over there. So if we need to pickpocket anything from his, like, to get a key or something, should be doable. This guy sits here with this right there. Imagine 
Imagine having your biggest enemy or thing that you dislike in your life, and then, like, by your bed, you just have that, like, post, you know, kill X, kill, I, I don't know, Disney. I'm just, I, I just hate Disney. I, I don't like the company. So you have, you put, you know, you go to bed with that next to your bed. Like, that's some dedication. Okay, what am I looking for here? The desk. Is it the desk? Bottle cap, lad's life, legion patrol notes. Ha ha ha. Recompense of the fu- What is that? Recompense of the Fallen? Now, see, if that is a weapon, I don't know why I've never heard of that. Because, again, I look through the entire list of weapons and I don't have that one written down. This is what I'm talking about. Is like, it's just so tricky figuring out what is and is not in the game. Because it just feels like certain things are actually left out. I, I, that, I, that honestly is really surprising me. Is that a unique weapon? I'm assuming it is. Recompense of the Fallen. I don't even know what what is, what is even going on there. I guess let's put it on and see. It looks like a... Oh! What the hell is this? It's a dog tag... Un, it's like a dog tag brass knuckles unarmed weapon. What in the world? Okay, I'm gonna have to look that up. Because, again, why do I have... Why do I not have notes about that at all? I have no idea. Okay, weird. Anyways, let's take our hollow rifle out again. Looks like we got one more thing to do. Plant a bug, right? But I'm not sure where this is leading me. Looks like back down here again. Looks like you're just door to Cottonwood Cove HQ. That's where we just were, was it not? Oh my gosh. It was. Okay, guys, if you don't want to die, just relax. I guess, yeah, it wasn't here. We could have done this. I Probably the radio. I, okay. All right. Well, you know, honestly, this was inevitable. Going to go ahead and blow your head up. Dracanus Severus, left leg crippled. No, 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 no. You don't get close to me. We're still in danger, which is weird, because we're in an interior with nobody else in here. But outside, they're definitely aggroed. Let's loot Dracanus Severus, which has 44 Magnum Rounds, Legion Prime Armor. I, the Legion Armor is so tricky for me to, like, remember if anything... Well, again, it shouldn't be unique, because I looked up and saw that I had everything, but I don't know what the recompense of the Fallen is. What the heck? Like, Decanus Helmet, I'm pretty sure we have to. Uh, one thing that I saw was really cool was that apparently the Legion armor is made up... I saw this on a Reddit recently. The Legion armor is made up of other factions' armor. I saw, like, the Brotherhood of Steel, like, chest plate or shoulder thing or something. And it was, like, the NCR this. And, like, all the other factions, like the Genghis Khans and everything. The Genghis Khans. The Great Khans. All the other factions, like, make up the Legion armor. Which, if that's true, because, you know, the internet has a way of saying, Did you know this is a thing? And sometimes it's like, uh, no, it's probably not. You're just kind of reaching. But, yeah, if that's true, that is very, very cool. And I, I think it is, because they, they had a scan of, like, the, the armor, where it comes from each thing. And it, it looked like it was, which was cool to see. Anyways, Slave Scarf, uh, activate Legion Radio. This appears to be a radio used to communicate with the fort. Plant the NCR bug. You place the NCR bug inside a crack in the radio. Return to First Sergeant Aster with the intel. Okay, oh. Come what on. you shooting at, pal? What's that guy's name? Canyon Runner? Ash Pile? Canyon Runner. Thank you. Explorer Armor. Weather's Slave Key. Oh, interesting. Okay, I probably can't leave. We're deep behind enemy lines now. You know, for roleplay purposes, I feel like we were pretty successful with uh, kind of playing like, oh, I'm totally with the Legion, but really I'm not. I'm kind of just spying. Which feels good, you know what I mean? It's like, that's that's a pretty hard thing to do, I think, especially do Vegas and all the clashing factions, but I do feel like we successfully kind of role-played that, you know what I mean? Anyways, what's up? You're back. What can I do for you? I have an update on Cottonwood Cove. Let's hear it. I planted the bug in Cottonwood Cove's radio and found some intel. Well, this is more than I could have hoped for. Almost seems too good to be true, but the details are all here. Looks like they're planning to strike some of the southern caravans. I'll notify the rangers and patrols in that area immediately. Here's some caps for your trouble. You've done us a great service. I sure have. 150 bottle caps, which is virtually useless at this point in the game. Is there anything else you need done? Well, unless you want to go in there and clean out that camp for me. I guess this should be more than enough for now. Consider it done. What? Really? You're mad, but I like it. According to the notes you gave me, all the southern raiding parties come from that camp. Caesar regularly sends fresh squads to relieve patrols. Killing their centurion and leadership would be a start. 
But finding a way to permanently shut down that dock is what we really need. I'll see what I can do. Report back when the camp is clear. I'll try and shuffle some men in that direction once the Legion's gone. Now this I don't think I've ever done. Uh, once again, kill all Legionaries in Cottonwood Cove. Because, you know, it requires you to, I think, get the dog tags thing and then go do the bug stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's just not achievement related. So there's a good chance I've literally never done this in my entire life, which is crazy. And if I have, it's just once, as I keep saying. So, I for an eye, kill all Legionaries in Cottonwood Cove. This should be relatively easy. And let's use the, uh, I keep forgetting what this thing is called. Oh, yeah, this machine, right? We have only got, it's 88 plus 8, right? It's one, another one of those things you think I should know by now. You would think that I would know by now, but I don't. 8 plus 88 in the bottom right is our total shots with this. Talk crucified slave. This person appears to be near death. To remove them from the cross would kill them. Would Avery shoot them? So they're stuck to the cross. They just can't even be removed. Does this give me negative karma? I hon Yeah, I honestly think Avery would shoot those people because they can't be removed from the crosses. So they're just doomed regardless. And that's not a life to live, right? So, yeah, I think Avery would put these guys down some frontier justice. Not really, though, because that's more in line with, like, when you, you know, when you're a vigilante. I just mean that Avery would put them down, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, back to Cottonwood Cove, and I don't even know really what legionaries are. I'm assuming that's just, like, what, the officers? Because we already took down Aurelius, who's, like, the high-ranking officer. You would think he would be the legionary, but there can't be multiple legionaries because he's the main legionary. So apparently there's like at least three left. A lot of Cottonwood Cove I've just never even explored too much. I've just never really popped into these buildings. So I don't even know the if these people are named. I don't even know what their names are. Hi, Prime Legionary. Okay, they're probably just like a rank up from the normal Legion. Okay, let's see what this machine can do with three VAT shots with a 71% chance for each hit. That's pretty good damage for not even being, not even being a crit. We almost killed this guy in one hit. 12 gauge rounds, bitter drink, which is what? HP plus six. Yeah, I'll take that. Honey mesquite pod. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sawed off shotgun. No, thank you. Okay. Looks like there's two board. Looks like we can get right up on them while they're sleeping. I wonder if there's anything in that boat over there. I do not know. Like I said, a lot of, a lot of, oh, I'm not even sneaking. What am I doing? I was like, why'd that guy notice me so quickly? We're in the dead of night here. There's a guy way up on those hills too. Okay, are you the guy? What's our chance here? You're not even a you're not even a legionary. You're just an explorer. 38%. I like them odds. Watch this. Easy. Man, this weapon's good. What the heck? I know I keep saying that every single every single recording, but I'm just surprised. Uh, because like I said, guns haven't really been dealing us uh, all that much. All that the benefits of the just the gun stat hasn't really been seen all that much in this playthrough but yeah this gun's making it work so i think that last guy is the guy and is that just all the npc that last guy is the last guy i'm not making much sense i think uh and i guess that's just all the npcs for cottonwood cove huh and then we need to find a way wait do we we don't have an optional objective do we kill all legionaries in cottonwood cove no we do not okay let's do a little hop up here huh! sir what you doing back here? Might be taking a midnight dump. And if there's not a term for that, there needs to be. A, a, a dark dump, something like that. You know what I mean. Wait, what's going on? Oh, this isn't even... Okay, this thing was just misleading me? Why is it way back over there? Or was I just not following? Anyways, I'm going to kill you. What's up? Bop! Sneak attack critical on Legion Explorer. Wait, so did we even need to kill the other guy? Anti-venom. Yeah, let's take that. Healing powder, Legion Denarius. Sweet. Okay, I probably... <laughs> I think I need to edit out what I just said there because it was... I was trying to emulate the sound. Oh, return... Okay, that's really weird. I'm just writing a note here. <laughs> I was trying to emulate the sound of reloading and I said something without thinking that I just don't think is going to really work to be in a YouTube video, to be honest with you. Uh, anyways, moving on. Return to First Sergeant Aster. That's really bizarre. Why did the quest marker, like, change before I even got up to that guy? That's weird. Anyways, we're getting really lucky with Sergeant Aster. I remember having to hunt him down over and over again. You're back. What can I do for you? I have an update on Cottonwood Cove. Let's hear it. I killed everyone in the camp. What? 
How did you pull it off? Basically just max, max level. I just killed everyone the old-fashioned way. A single man slaughters an entire camp of legionaries? I'm amazed. It took everything we had in the last battle at the dam to stand against those brutes. You're a beast, son. You've done a fine job, friend. Here's a little something for your work. 200 bottle caps, which is definitely a little something. Quest completed, eye for an eye. I wonder if... Goodbye. Sir. I can't, wow, I'm real, I'm genuinely really surprised we were able to find Eye for an Eye and then actually complete it, because I was looking through my quest, uh, through my pit point, like I said, and like, I, I found every quest other than the ones we can't do, and I was like, Eye for an Eye must just be bugged or something, and there it is, no, nope, you can totally do it. Like I said, I must have just waited, I must have, must, must have held off on it until I did all the Legion stuff. Okay, so that means we literally have one quest left, one quest outside of the main quest left, and that is for Auld Lang Zine. Sign, sign, sign. Ask Judah Krieger to come to the Remnants reunion. Orion Moreno, Cannibal Johnson, Daisy Whitman, Dr. Henry. With Arcade, convince the Remnants to reunite for one last battle. So I don't know if you actually need Arcade Ganon to do this side quest, companion quest, but we are going to do it regardless. And I notice it does tell me where he is. Let's go to the strip north. Yeah, it looks like it's bringing me to Arcade. Are we gonna have to track these people down manually, I wonder? Because I didn't see any other quest markers. Cannibal Johnson, we know where he is. I wonder what... What happens if you kill Cannibal Johnson? Huh. Or any of these people, I'm assuming. Yeah, it looks like the quest marker's leading me to Arcade. Hello there, nice to see you. Oh, thanks so much, you're too kind. I, I appreciate it. I'm just trying my best. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Arcade should be back in the... High roller sleet! <laughs> High roller sleet! High... Oh, here we go again with this. What the heck is going on with this? Okay, the man in the... Lab coat is where... Hello, all my wonderful companions. Nice to see ya. Man, we've been playing a lot of Dragon Age Inquisition, and boy, do I love those companions. They did it. If you, if you like games with a big array... Is he even in here? Oh, there you are. Yeah, the quest marker was leading me right to him. Uh, if you like... Crap, I just realized, doesn't this persist now? Like, I'm gonna have to reload a thing, aren't I? Auto, lucky 30. Yeah, let's just be safe. I don't want to go through the motions and then... What is going on? Something's up with the lucky 38. How are they, actually? And I don't know what it is with RK... Oh my god, dude. So if I leave... Okay, the problem now is it's going to make an auto... Ugh. I feel like that bug down... I might have had to quit the game. What do I do? Uh, okay, let's load this auto save and let's go back outside. And let's maybe re-enter. Why is that happening? I've never experienced that before. But yeah, it seems to be happening specifically with going to the presidential suite in the Lucky 38. It makes my screen blue. And I, if I remember right last time, it did not go away until, like, like, until I reloaded a save. Okay, there we are. Hi. What's up? Need you to come with me. What's your opinion on the current situation? I have to say I don't understand where you're going with Mr. House. The man's been manipulating the locals for as long as anyone can remember. If you help him kick the NCR and Legion out, he's going to keep right on doing it. The people in Freeside will be just as bad off as they ever were. If you can find a way to push Mr. House out of the picture as well, I think everyone will be better off. Mm, so there you go. That's a person that's actually against Mr. House. That's a that's a point against him. I uh, think we should travel together. Back. The better healing perk. Okay. Uh, now, since we're here, might as well store some stuff. Wardrobe with apparel. Advanced radiation suit store, even though it's not unique and there's multiples of those. Breathing mask we keep. Centurion helmet store. Combat helmet we repair the Desert Ranger combat helmet with that. Leather armor reinforced. We repair that with that. Legion Centurion armor. Why do I have this? This is light and this is light, right? Yes. Okay, I'll just store it. Merc Troublemaker. Why do I have that? That I need to drop. Remnants power helmet. There's multiple of these. It's not unique, but I'll store it regardless. And then let's drop off our weapons as well. Blood Nap. We're using Christine COS Silencer Rifle. I definitely think we're switching that out for this machine, which seems to be much better, personally. <gasps> Hollow Rifle Mysterious Magnum. Did we switch that out too? Uh, I think we keep that just because of the flavor. Matter uh, Ranger Sequoia. We're getting rid of Recompense of the Fun. We're getting rid of Red Glare. We're keeping this machine. Okay, good. Now. All right, let's go. Let's go meet your friends. 
feel like I need to do something else, though. What was it? I feel like there's something I'm not doing. It, it, did I not hotkey a weapon? Nah, everything's hotkeyed. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I didn't use... Okay, let's go outside real quick. Let me just hop over here. And let's go into items, apparel, the courier duster, which will use the... Oh, maybe that's why I took the Merc Troublemaker outfit. We'll repair it. Leather armor reinforce... Eh, we'll repair it with that, because this is basically worth nothing. Yes. Bam. We'll repair the Desert Ranger combat helmet with the combat helmet. Okay, and then we will head over to... Gun Runners. Let's go to the gun runners real quick and get this other stuff out of my inventory. Hello. Welcome, sir. Or I wish to sell. Uh, let's see. Apparel. We're going to sell the leather armor reinforced, which is a flat 743 caps, which is why I want to do that. The gun runners has 8,000. Bam. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. So that's interesting. Actually, you need Arcade Ganon for it to actually give you the locations of these people, which I feel like that's normally not how it is. Normally, it would give you the locations of the people, and you have to you go there and be like, oh, without Arcade, I can't do this. Ask. Okay, we got a whole bunch of people, and some of them I know, and some of them I don't know. Uh, let's go to Cannibal Johnson's Cave, because I know we have that location on the map unlocked already. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you can kill Cannibal Johnson, like, or there's something with him where you can have an option to kill him or get angry at him or something. I don't exactly remember. Also, let's save the game in case I make a critical error here. So if you don't remember, For All Lang Syne is uh, Arcade Ganon's companion quest. You have to do a lot to unlock it. It's the number one companion quest that's hardest to unlock, I would say. And then you have to basically go and meet his remnants pals, who are remnants of the Enclave, which play a major part in Fallout 1, 2, and 3. Three. I don't know about Fallout 1. Major, bit, huge part in Fallout 2, though. And then in Fallout 3, they're, they're also definitely a major plot point. What brings you around this time? Arcade asked me to gather all the remaining members of the Enclave in the Mojave. Thought I recognized the fellow with you. So what's this reunion all about, then? Let's see here. He thinks your experience in technology will help resolve the conflict in this region. Well, now, there's an interesting idea. Do a bit of good before we're all dead and forgotten. You can count me in. Oh, and in case Arcade forgot to mention it, there's a five-word passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My word is old. Appropriate, huh? That is indeed if appropriate. If I had to pick anyone who didn't belong in the Enclave, it would definitely be Johnson. He hated what the Enclave was doing. Day to day, week to week, he would question orders, subvert mission objectives, do anything he could to serve without serving. It's amazing he was never court-martialed. He always had good things to say about my father. Said I was like him in a lot of ways. I wish I knew. I'm sure your father would be proud of you. I wonder if he would. It's pointless, I know, but sometimes I wonder what he wanted me to be. Maybe being a doctor in the middle of Nevada wasn't exactly what he had in mind for his little boy. Okay. Well, do you have anything else to say? By the way, for those that didn't know, the okay. leather armor... Okay, I'll do my best. The leather armor that Cannibal Johnson is wearing and you can obviously get yourself is a direct reference to the Road Warrior, which is the second Mad Max film. It's called Mad... What was it called here? Mad Max... No, I hear the great call. here it was called the Road Warrior, right? Or something like that. But in Australia, it was called Mad Max 2. Anyways, it's like exactly what, uh, uh, what's his name? Mel Gibson wears, yeah, pretty much. It's like a staple of Fallout. Sorry if I'm getting details about that wrong, but, you know, I, I think that's right. Anyway, oh yeah, I wanted to see if you have any more dialogue. What brings you around this? What did you do when you were with the Enclave? Squad Marksman. I'm pretty proud of the fact that I never killed a single soul who wasn't trying to kill me or one of my team first. Okay, well that's pretty convenient for you not being a bad person that we're supposed to despise. You make it sound like avoiding innocent deaths was uncommon in the Enclave. I'm sorry to say that it was. Civilian casualties was acceptable and sometimes encouraged. My former squad mate Moreno didn't need encouraging. Moreno and I might have killed each other if Captain Krieger hadn't been there to pull us apart. And Moreno is somebody we can meet, but I don't remember any of these NPCs other than Cannibal, Cannibal Johnson, because we've seen him uh, multiple times in multiple playthroughs. Goodbye. Be seeing you. 
Maybe. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Why did you say that? That was weird. Okay, let's go, Arcade! Let's get out of here. Arca arcade is still, like, low on health. I guess companions just do not regen health at all. If you don't give them stim packs. Okay, way down here is who? Novak. Wait a second, who's a Novak? Trying to think if somebody was going by a different name? Uh, let's see, quests. Who else do we have? Judah? It's Judah, isn't it? But I don't... I'm not remembering who Judah is. Orion, Daisy... Or is it Daisy? Maybe it's Daisy? Dr. Hen... Yeah, Dr. Henry's up in Jacobstown. Okay, well, I don't know, but we will, we will find out in the next episode. So, again, all we've got left, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I want to get all the map markers done, and I want to get all the quests completed, and then I think we'll call that the 100%. Uh, people are obviously itching to get back to Oblivion and Skyrim, and the series has gone on quite long. Uh, there's obviously other things we could do, like unmarked quests and things like that, and who knows? Maybe there'll even be another season. I'm not really a fan of that, though, because, like, I usually like to wrap up my characters and then give them a wrap-up, and then that'll, you know, that's that, but you never know. Anyways, I think that, yeah, so we are, I keep saying this, but we are definitely in the end game now, so uh, the finale will be coming any day now. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to the patrons that support me on Patreon, and I will see you all the next one. Bye-bye! Hey, it's me, GV. Thanks so much for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to watch more of me, I'm live on Twitch pretty much every day. Link in the description. If you want to support what I do, Patreon is the best way. Link is in the description. And either way, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.